As promised, I'm back with one with fractions. So let's take a look here. Seven is not being distributed, so I'm going to bring seven down. And now I'm multiplying a negative five halves times eight. Please make sure you're able to do this in your head. If you're still struggling with that skill, it is a perfect opportunity to come to, fra to, come to tutorials so we can practice fractions. You are cross-reducing two and eight. Two goes into eight four times. Four times negative five is a negative 20R. Here and now I'm going to distribute a negative five over two times a negative six. A negative times a negative is a positive. Two and six can cancel out. Two goes into two once. It goes into six three times, and three times five is 15. Okay, that is not a big deal to have fractions. You're going to see them all year long, so you might as well get good at them. Now we're just going to combine like terms, so negative 20R and positive 2R is negative 18R. You have more negatives and positives, and you have a positive 15 and a positive 7, which is a positive 22, and I set that equal to 32. Now, here's the same thing. I want to get my constant term on the other side. So I'm going to do additive inverse by subtracting 22. The equality property says I need to do it on both sides. So I have negative 18R equals 10. I need to get R by itself. So I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 18. And then this is where students are like, but I got a fraction, I got a fraction. It's okay. We live in a fractional world. You're going to see fractions all day long. It is absolutely fine to get a fraction. But make sure you give it how I need it. 10 over negative 18 is negative 10 eighteenths. I have students all the time say, well, where do you want my negative? Do you want it up top? Do you want it on bottom? Um, do you want it outside? Standard form is to put it up top if it's just one answer. If it's in the form of an equation, it would be like negative 10 over 18. Okay, so... This is fine, however, you wouldn't turn it in like this, because why? It's not simplified. Make sure you simplify your fraction, and so it's negative 5 over 9. Okay? So that's how we do a fraction. Last one we're going to do together. Well, let me move it up. Okay, so this one, first we're going to write it. Five times the difference of twice a number in three. So it's saying five times the difference of. Remember, this is a special case that means distribution. Five times times what? The difference of twice a number in three. So difference means subtraction, twice a number, so 2x minus 3. Do you see how that's five times the difference of twice a number in three? Decreased by the sum of the number in 8. So it's decreased by what? By the sum of a number in 8. Again, it has to be in parentheses because you're distri distributing. It's decreased by the sum of the number in 8, and that equals 13. Now that we've written it appropriately, we can solve it. Use distribution, distributive property, 10x, minus 15, negative x, negative 8, equals 13. Combine like terms, 9x, and a negative 15 and a negative 8 is a negative 23, and that equals 13. I add 23 to both sides, additive inverse, equality says I do it on both sides, and I get 9x equals 36, divide both sides by 9, and I get x equals 4. And there's my answer. If you're struggling, come see me.